Hey guys, I know it's dark. <clears throat> My camera's never really good. Today, I'm going to take a look at the Ghoul RDA. Um, I, did, I didn't I did do a review on this yet. I think that's a little bit better. I'm trying to get more than a lot. But this right here is the Ghoul RDA. And I got to tell you guys, it's a pretty good Ghoul. Um, the build I'm rocking is a... 0.339 ohms, vaping at 46.5 watts. I've got the gold version. Um, I've got a. Uh, hold on a second. I've got the. Uh, this kind of cool in it. It's an alien. And it's pretty good. Don't know if y'all could see that, but. And I'm using regular organic cotton. This is my first RDA. Usually I'm a lazy vapor. Usually stick to tanks. Uh, but someone recommended me get an RDA. So I got an RDA. Juice I'm vaping is big. Um, peach, peach pie. And 3 milligram nicotine. And I'll, I'll tell you this, so far, the RDA has been good. Um, I recommend the cool to be, you know, center of, like, from the, uh, the ceramic clamp and the uh, middle section where the uh, squonk pin, stuff like that is. I'm not using squonk and I'm dripping, but here's a, here's a tote. Pretty good. I can definitely get the notes and nuances off the peach pie. The like I said, the cotton I'm using is like a Walgreen brand organic cotton. Not the best. Um, I'm going probably soon to get um, like the bacon. Um, or if y'all know of any cotton that I can get, leave it down in the description. Again, I apologize for the lighting. Okay, uh, there's a few cons that I found for this. Uh, one would be. The airflow hose, if you, or the hose, like if you put juice in this thing, and if you just go, you know, blah, with the juice, just careless, it's going to flood. I mean, it's going to it's gonna go all over your mind. You're going to have to take a Q-tip or something and clean it. Like, it's a big, big deal. Like, big deal. Uh, airflow, I, I prefer, like it has, like a different type of airflow system. There's two tiny holes in the back, and there's one big hole in the front. And you can adjust it. I mean, it is adjustable, everything like that. Um, it's, it's like I said, it's a little different. Like, if you flood it, or the airflow, like, the air holes are so low to to your mod or your mech mod or whatever you're using. If you just blag your juice in there, it's going to leak all over the place. Airflow, though, you get tons of it. I mean, it's good. I prefer, like I said, I prefer the hole in the front open and the two, in the, like, it has two little tiny holes in the back. I prefer them closed and the one on the front open to allow the airflow to go. I mean, it's going to hit airflow from both both the two little holes in the back and the big hole in the front. But I'm just saying you can leave two back holes open in the back and, like, closed and then get the one in the front and it still has good airflow. Um, I, I just, I really like it. I enjoy the Ghoul RDA by Blitz. Um, I think they made a good product. The build quality, solid. I mean, it's a solid build quality. I just think, like I said, you can they could change the airflow. That's about it. If you guys like my video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll bring you more videos when I can. Um, hopefully, this will be a ongoing thing. Thank you for stopping in at Flow Gamma, Flow Gamma's channel. See y'all next time.